firstly we are going to prepare the skin appropriately with an alcoholic substance in order to be able to break it and avoid any infection. I then like to use a blade like so to remove any fluffy hairs. It's a little bit quicker and very thorough but do be very careful. Here we have our mapped outline ready to shade in that lovely brown colour. I'm using the brown brow designer from Buff Brows. It's really soft and creamy, so really easy to work with. You can sharpen your brow designer like so, using the Looking Sharp tool to make sure it's nice and precise and the edge is very crisp at the end. This really helps me to achieve my results quickly and to ensure that the finish is super flawless. Here you can see that I'm just shading in the entire brow, filling in the gaps. I like my client to be able to see as close as possible how the end result is going to look at the end of the appointment. I do go above and beyond with my pre-drawing. I think it's really, really important. Perfect end results are the result of a good foundation with your mapping and your pre-drawing. It's going to really, really help you to achieve that perfect outline with your needle, which is going to give you an overall really gorgeous finish. So don't slack, practice your pre-drawing, perfect your pre-drawing, and your clients will be really, really happy too. It's going to make them feel a lot better to be able to see as clearly as possible how their results are going to look. Whilst they can still make amendments to the shape, they can ask questions, your pre-drawing is not permanent. It's also nothing to rush. I spend about 45 minutes doing my pre-drawing. I think finding your comfort zone is really important when it comes to this stage of the appointment. You might be comfortable lying the client down, having them sat up, but do experiment to find what works best for you because the more comfortable you are, the better balance you're going to be, the more control you're going to have and therefore the better, better your results will be. You can drag the excess pencil forward into the front of the brow using the Queen Bee brush to ensure that um, it's a really nice ombre finish so it's not too dense and dark at the front which can really freak out your clients. So now it's time to start concealing. I use the Whitney brush. 
So I'm going to perfect the pre-drawing by concealing the edge of the brows. I'm using the Bare Necessities palette and the Whitney brush combined. You do need quite a substantial amount of product. And of course you can mix the shades. You do want to decant the product onto a glove. You definitely do not want to be um, returning for product once you have started work on the skin as we do not want to risk cross-contamination. When you clean your brushes, I would highly recommend using a product with an antibacterial element. So you can sit your client up for this part of the pre-drawing or you can have them lying down. Again, it's whatever com comfortable for you. Neither way is wrong. It's about being as well balanced as possible. For me, it's all in the concealed work. You can create a lovely edge with your pencil, but to really get that defined and crisp edge, it's all in your concealer. And there we go, the perfect pre-drawn brows, ready for me to implant my outline and create a beautiful Gigi brow.